day from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. This is Matt Football on EA Sports. Tunga Bailoa and the Miami Dolphins taking on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Well, much of the country is struggling under cold temps and some of that white stuff. No such troubles here at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Green Bay Packers and the Miami Dolphins. Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And here comes the winner of the last two NFL MVP awards, Aaron Rodgers, as he brings his Packers out for their first series of the game. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks. He can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing now is Rodgers. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Here's Rodgers to throw. And that will be incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Spins past him. A seven yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. And here comes the Miami offense now, and it's the Southpaw in his third season at the wheel for the Fins. Quarterback to a tongue of Iloa. And when you watch him play, everything just looks like it comes so naturally to him. When he's dialed in and finds that zone, passes are crisp, he sees the field really well, and he takes charge as the leader of this offense. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he'll get this up to about the 40. 
It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? He stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Once again, it's Mostert. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Mike seven, Mike seven. From the gun, it's Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal. Here's Mostert. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. five-yard line here's second and goal second down Gaskin and not a whole lot there he does get a couple taking it from the five down to the three his path became similar to almost running a stretch play didn't it trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back it just never materialized through a couple of plays this Green Bay defense is held strong now it's third and goal They'll try and run with Wilson. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Jeff Wilson, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are on the board first here this afternoon. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end, then come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. How about the defense forcing the punt? Turns it over to the offense with confidence, and they take it downfield and score. Jason Sanders now for the extra point.
And that makes it 7 0 Dolphins. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends with a three yard scoring run. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Yeah, yeah, we dominate today. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Rodgers now on first down. And able to find Alan Lazard. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So here's a first and ten at the thirty eight. Now a play fake, Rodgers. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays... They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Throwing is Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? First down carry by Jones. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Right 
And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll go again to Jones. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. To throw, it's Rodgers. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. They'll go with Jones. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Thought they might throw the football with a little chunk that they had remaining on fourth down, but they ran it. They got it. And the reason they were able to get it done, he ran that play with conviction, didn't he? Understood he would get a little bit of help from his friends up front, but it was really on him to go ahead and make the power move and get it done, and that he did. Rodgers now on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Rodgers. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Here's Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. The kick by Crosby is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Well, the good news, at least they won't take that goose egg into the locker room. Maybe a little something to build on. Yeah, it hasn't been the greatest of first halves for them, has it? But at least now, as you mentioned, they put some points on the board. And it's been funny in our experience watching games. Sometimes something as little as a field goal could change the fortunes of a team. And they could come out and look real sharp in the second half. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 
So Miami coming out for their second drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. They'll look to Gesicki on the out route. Ball is caught. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. That's complete. Once again, it's Kosicki. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Meanwhile, to his throw here, take it in by Gesicki. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Tua setting up shop to throw again. It's Hill complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This from 54 yards away. And this is off the left upright, and it comes back. It's no good. So we are at halftime here on Christmas Eve as we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much, and welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? 
I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Third quarter starts with a run from Mostert. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Two are going to throw. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. He's got a man complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight yard line. 39 yards there, a big one. I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope someone will come free. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's tongue of Iloa to throw. And he's got his tight end, Gesicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Dolphins take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro yeah, bro. he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he's going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. 
Looking sideline incomplete. Just what they need a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Third quarter action, and we appreciate you spending your Christmas Eve right here with us. Second and ten. Up the middle, Jones. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 37. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Rodgers going to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 28. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Rodgers, able to find Lazard. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On the counter, here's Jones. And he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line. It's a six yard pickup and it gets him to second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it, but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he's got his man. Touchdown, Green Bay. It's Alan Lazard. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Packers are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. They're going to run for it with Jones. And he'll get in for the two points. So that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves.
Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Miami. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. following the sack they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Here's Tua. Flushed out right. They complete it to Hill. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Sometimes it's designed and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. On that play he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. And just a yard to go here on second down. Now a give to Mostert, running right. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now an open man, that's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete, and he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try to loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Up the middle they go with Mostert. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. 
Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. He is going to find Hill here. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll run right side with Mostert. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. One more time with Mostert. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Now tongue of Iloa. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So a big one coming now for Jason Sanders. This to swell the lead to six. The kick by Sanders is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted then. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. So the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. Back to throw, Rodgers. Able to find Jones. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. No time out, you gotta go quick here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Rodgers. Well, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. Ready, ready, 50. 
Ricky Green. Double top, double top. Hey, go down, go down. Jump back. Ready, ready. Down to an ego's Tua, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.